Hello everybody, Yelza Farmer here, and yes, today we finally got the update of FS22 patch 1.3 is out, and there's a lot of things, I am not going to go through them all, we're gonna test out some uh, new things, uh, we also have some new vehicles and uh, equipment, so we're gonna have a look at that, so yeah, let's uh, just jump in it. And uh, boop, 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 boop. so, uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot this one. Um, the easiest way to find the update if you're on PC, I'm on PC now, I haven't tested it on my uh, PlayStation 5 yet. But if you are in the mod side, the easiest way is to just go up to the top, up to updates, and here you see Farming Simulator update 1.3. and when I did the um, uh, installation, so to speak, of the update, I just started the game and then it automatically started the update. Now, I have to say I bought the game uh, from Giants at their Farming Simulator webpage. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work if you have downloaded game on Steam or other places or if you have a hard copy. But uh, what Giant is also saying here is that if you bought the PC version on DVD or the PC digitally from Giants, you can try the following. So there are some troubleshooting here if you don't get it to work. And it's also some other uh, explanation here if you don't get it to work. Uh, the actual change log, then you just click on this one. And yeah, there is a lot, a lot of bug fixes and changes. And yeah, it, it, phew, I hope everything is working now. Um, and there are some new additions and new vehicles and tools. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna test some of it. And yeah, let's see. I'm gonna jump into uh, the game now let's see if i do like so and <laughs> i'm excited can you tell can you tell um so there we go so let's start with some new equipment sound is on yeah so first of all uh, the in-game versatile 620 now it comes with a three point hitch on the back so you can choose to have it or don't have it, so to speak. Uh, so that's pretty nice. The easiest way I found all of this new equipment and vehicles was that I just went through the list uh, alphabetically. Uh, if you go into the shop on this one, the top one, uh, this was actually the easiest way to find the things. So I just went... Um, uh, like this one, this is the versatile, let's see, I just went in here, and went to this one, and now you can see, you can choose with three point or without, so that's pretty neat, and there were some of these that I couldn't find in the main menu, so I just went into here, like the hardy one, let's see, where was that hardy, yeah, there's a new fertilizer spreader, which is this one, the Navigator 4000. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, different ways of where you can find it. We got this one. This is really nice. This is called Krampe Big Body. <laughs> this holds 37,500 liter and it takes everything. So now I have filled it up with, you know, I thought it was just... Um, just uh, a you know forage wagon but I have wheat in it now so yeah and it's not expensive it's expensive either so let's jump into trailers this was it pretty easy to find uh, I've heard already some rumors that uh, slot count has been reduced on new generation consoles I haven't checked it out. I haven't downloaded the update on my PlayStation yet, so we'll see. So this one is pretty cheap. Uh, and you can choose it like this if you want it single color uh, or like this. 37 pa. Now this is interesting. Oh yeah, that's the thing. If you have it like this, normal, then the 
No. Ah, oh, okay. That's because of the extension. Oh, I didn't see that. So, no, it's not cheap. It's 50,000 if you have it like this. 37,000, 35,000 and 20,000 liter. Ah, okay. So it's 50,000. So yeah, I take it back. It's not that cheap. <laughs> but it's a nice one. Uh, it's a tipper. So it will tip. Uh, next one. Uh, this is an update to the class Lexion 8900. Uh, the update is that now you can have it with tires uh, instead of tracks. Uh, but it's not on all of them so if we jump into harvesters and find the 8900 this one so you need to go to bkt to be able to change to wheel or and also mitus i think yeah uh, continental no uh, michelin no and trelleborg no so yeah that's the change there uh, if you want to go that route with uh, wheels instead of tracks. Uh, next one, we have also a harvester. Um, the in-game one, well, the one we had from before was the Fent slash Massey 90. The new one is called either Massey or Fent 9PL. So this is called the parallel level. Uh, you know what? Just hang on there a bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's called the parallel level. So I thought maybe it was something with the header connection that, you know, it's more flexible. Uh, the only difference I have found is that this new one, you cannot have it with tracks. So it's opposite for this one. Uh, this only comes with a wheel version uh, compared to the in-game one which have tracks and the new one has less capacity. So if we go into harvesters again, these two are the in-game one, the Fent and Massey Ideal. These will hold up to 17,000 liters. Uh, all depends on if you choose the 70, 80, and 90. This is 17,100. Um, the new ones are these guys here. The Fent and Massey Ideal PL. They are a little bit cheaper. Not that much. About 15,000 cheaper. Uh, but this one, if I change it from 7, 8, or 9 PL, the capacity is still the same. And for wheel options, there are no tracks on neither of the wheel brands. So, yeah, that, at least, well, we got the two new harvesters. Well, three, actually. Well, the update on that one. Uh, this one, this is called the Hardy Navigator 4000 Delta Force. This is a slurry or digestate spreader. So this one you'll find under tools and let's see, no, it was not that one. Uh, where did I find it? You know what? <laughs> Sprayers. <laughs> Here we go. The Navigator 4000. It can hold 4000 liter of herbicide, herbicide or liquid fertilizer. And you can also change the spreading width from 27 all the way up to 33 meters. So I'm I'm actually going to use this one because of another update, which, yeah, we need to test it. Uh, next one here, this is called the Pluger. Uh, let's see, yeah, Pluger AT5104. This is um, yeah, a fertilizer spreader, slurry spreader. Uh, you can unfold it. Let's start it up, like so. And then you can, you know, L1, if you're using a controller like me. This one, I don't think it's working. Uh, well, if we get this manure system, it might work. But what's nice is either, you know, if you have the pipe all the way down there and press L1 and X, unfold it, it will shoot. So this one you will find under slurry tanks. We have the Vervayat from before. 
this one will do digestate and slurry and you know if you are uncertain of uh, what you can connect to the back of it the easiest way is to go one out and if you see on the bottom on the screen now it says uh, r combination so if i press r now you can get you know what will fit this uh, slurry spreader so i've taken this one uh, i filled it up no i haven't filled it up let's uh, fill it up with slurry no that was the wrong one let's uh, do like so slurry tanker 2 slurry there we go 22,000 liter bam connected to this one and you're good to go <laughs> I'm no uh, I'm probably rushing a little bit but anyway um yeah this one is not new but um yeah it looks a little bit messy here because <laughs> but one of the bug fixes was that you know a lot of people have had trouble with bales in the shop and some have said it's because of autoload trailers uh, so I've taken this one, I've loaded it, unloaded it, yeah, I've done several things with it. I've only tested it for half an hour or so, but now if I go into a menu, uh, you know, I'm not getting any bales in the shop. So yeah, it looks like uh, hopefully they have uh, fixed that one. And, you know, game crashes when you are in the shop. Uh, next one, this one, I had a little bit trouble with finding, but this one is called the uh, Cot PK32000. So I had to search for this one, <laughs> because when I went into this one, I couldn't find anything on K or on Cot, uh, but it's of called Garant Cot. So here you'll find it. Is this one 32,000 liter and you can change the color or whatever you want and this will do slurry and digestate and the same here press R for combination and you can choose between these two so I've gone for the big boy here I filled it up with 32,000 liter with slurry um yeah so that's the uh, what i could see the new equipment and vehicles now it's also said in the uh, mod hub let's see if i do like so now if i pull in this one uh if i go into mods let's see mods there we go uh, it says that the class serion saddle pack sad track pack has got an update now i haven't used that one so but this one you will find on the large tractors do, do, do. there we go so this has been updated uh i don't know what the update is uh as i said i haven't used it but this one you can also press r and you can get all the implements which can fit the class saddle pack track so um then we move on to some of uh, which i think is really nice and one of them is uh, within the menu if we go to cell points and for example wheat and if you press uh, square now you will get price fluctuations but now you also get the highest price and the lowest price if you see on the graph there. So lowest price in August is 822 and highest price in January is 1221. I think this one is really great. Then you can actually see the difference before, you know, you didn't know what the minimum and maximum was. So that's a big change which I really like. Uh, the next one is uh, related to contracts and it says in the change log that now you will get um, like an update on the contract 
So what I have taken on is a fertilizing contract on field 26. Let's see if the worker system has improved. Let's go this one and let's send him to the edge of the field there. <gasps> Bam. There we go. So I'm going to drive this one. This one up, or the worker is going to drive it up, and I'll see you in a second. Uh, well, uh, also, <laughs> another thing with regards to stone picking. Uh, now, it says that the stone, if you hire a worker with a stone picker, it will stop when the stone picker is full. So, I did some testing here with plowing up this field. But I only got small stones, so I'm... Yeah, when we're gonna test that, I'm gonna test it on no man's land. So, but firstly, we're gonna we're gonna test out this one. And yeah, like I said, um, if I do like so... Uh, do, 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 updates and the change log, the bug fixes is like a book. There are so many things there which have been approved. And yeah, I like it. And yeah, ooh, I forgot that one. Um, the in-game Nardi header trailers. So if we go into header trailers, all of these Nardi uh, header trailers now, you can uh, change color. Which is pretty neat if you want to go that route. I don't know why I went to with John there, but uh, yeah, so all of these now. Uh, and also it says that modders which are making header trailers, it's going to be easier to find or to set the, not the auto load position, but a position where they, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, also, yeah, there we go. We got a car. Uh, not the big change, but now all the cars on Hout Baileron and Erlengrat has license plates. <laughs> I don't know why and how, but yeah, they got it. So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of changes and I cannot test all of it today. Let's see where my class is heading. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I'll see you when we start with this. Uh, con oh, here we are actually. Okay, let's fire this guy. Let's unfold this. We probably can spread through the whole field here. There we go. Let's uh, let's line this up. Let's fire it up and let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Up in the top right corner. 10% complete. All right. So are we getting every 10% or? What's going on here? Uh, no. All right. All right. We're testing. We're testing. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. It seems like... And contract is finished. So. Um, yeah. All right. All right. I'll take it. We got uh, one new update. And that's when the contract is 10% finished. Anywho. Well, uh, it's an it's an update. It's an improvement. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna jump into no man's land and we're gonna test the stone picker with a worker. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> so here we are. Uh, we are on no man's land. I've plowed up a field and I got the uh, only in-game equipment here. Let's fire it up. The in-game stone picker. So firstly, what I'm gonna test is uh, let's see how should we do this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna take the first line here because uh, on the last patch or the last game update. Uh, we had two problems with this, and first of all was that when the stone picker got full, uh, then he just continued. And the second one was that every time uh, you hire a worker, he was always going the wrong way. 
so how should we test that one? You know what? I think I'm just... Oh, let's uh, lift this up. Uh, let's go to the edge here and let's see. Let's uh, hire a worker now. Oh, let's go a little bit closer. There we go. I'm hiring a worker. And uh, let's see if he goes to the left now. You know, that what usually what happened in the last game. So let's see. There we go. He is going. Oh, I'm in the wrong way, buddy. So there we go. At least here yeah, he's going the the, <laughs> the correct direction. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. Good boy. So the next test now, or the next thing now, is that I'm gonna hopefully I get 2,000 liter here. I'm gonna let him go and I'm gonna jump in when we are close to 2,000 liter. I might have to, you know what? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna jump in here. <laughs> oh, 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 take your plow with you there, buddy. And I'm gonna probably have to plow up a little bit more. So at least we can get 2,000 liter. So yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you in a hot second. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Go, go, go. Lower. Create fields. There we go. <clears throat> so we are getting up to almost 2,000 liter now. And the worker is still rocking and rolling. 1950. All right, all right. Oh, I'm glad I plowed up a little bit more here. That's for sure. Uh, and uh, so I've also found two other things that I'm gonna test uh, two small quick ones and it has to do a little bit with pallet handling but let's see now that this guy here let's see if he's actually gonna stop up uh, at 2000 liter come on buddy uh, yeah, so I've been reading the changelog, the bug fixes, and yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of things. <laughs> oh my. So let's see, there we go. 2000 liter worker has a full tank. There we go. So that's a big improvement. Even though maybe it was just a quick fix for giants, but yeah, the worker has stopped. It is full. So, yeah, let's see, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, it says um, it's an update to that now the forklifts will not go into the ground. I've had, I haven't had the problem with that before, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so apparently that has improved and also the beehive uh, spawn point has improved. So I put down a lot of beehives. Uh, and this is the in-game spawn point. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to bed uh, because uh, yeah, we need to see how this works because on sometimes uh, the pallets were you know dug into the ground. So do, 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 do. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to bed. Let's jump in here and I'll see you in tomorrow morning. <clears throat> so let's see the day after nine o'clock and wow with all these beehives we only got one pallet. But anyway it doesn't seem like it's uh, dig down so let's try to pick it up. I know maybe we should have tested it a little bit more, but, uh, you know. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, like I said, there are a ton of updates, ton of bug fixes. If they all are working, I don't know. Uh, then I could sit here the whole day, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But the update is there. Um, there. I also found it on another web page, and that said, um, you know, the first time I found this one was on Facebook today, and I found this one. 
update crisis farming simulator 22 update 1.006 patch notes february 24th that's today uh, and with the same update so it says 1.060 question mark so yeah um, i'm not trusting this 100 percent the best way of finding it is of course at farming simulator.com uh, on updates and there you will get everything also the uh, the last patch patch 1.2 uh, so yeah um with that said i think that was it for this uh, quick look at the patch 1.3 on farming simulator 22 thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and if you're not already a subscriber subscribe to the channel if you want and yeah i'll see you the next time bye bye